So we'll go ahead and start. Any questions? We have two microphones out here. Just raise your hand. We'll start right here. Karen Krauss from the New York Times. Ryan, how do you explain such a high reading? In your mind, what explanation do you have? You know, the most honest answer I could give you is that I'm 100% certain it's never entered my system. I can only speak for what happened up until the time that the sample went missing. I have no idea what happened to it for that 44-hour period. And beyond that, you know, your guess is as good as mine. I don't have any idea. Yeah. Pedro Gomez with ESPN. Ryan, what is your reaction to Major League Baseball's reaction, how they were furious with this decision? You know, I respect their opinion. Um, you know, I think it's a little bit sad and disappointing that this has become a PR battle. Um, you know, I haven't tried, uh, I, I have tried to respect the confidentiality of the process, um, but again, I certainly respect their, uh, their position and their opinion. I'm Lisa Kennel with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Um, your fans, as you said, have been incredibly supported throughout this entire process. How important is that to you? Uh, it's extremely important. You know, as, as I stated earlier, this is, you know, by far the most challenging thing I've ever faced in my life. Um, the most difficult time uh, in my life and, and having the support of my fans has, has truly meant the world to me. Having the support of my teammates uh, has truly meant the world to me. And, uh, you know, I'm not so sure I would have got through this thing without their support. So I'm very appreciative. Ryan, Dario Melendez, WISN 12 Milwaukee. Who was the collector and was he employed by the team? Uh, again, because of potential ongoing litigation, I'm not allowed to get into any of that stuff. Ryan Lance Allen from WTMJ TV. When you found out that you won the appeal, how did you react? Because obviously there was a chance that it was going to go the other way and you were going to get suspended. You didn't know. You know, throughout this process, I've, I've tried to remain optimistic. I've tried to remain positive. Um, and at the end of the day, I knew that the truth was on our side. So I truly believed that I was going to win. But uh, it was certainly a big relief. Uh, I was definitely very pleased with the verdict. And like I said, I'm excited to be back here and, you know, step foot on a baseball field. Ryan, uh, because this was supposed to be confidential, what are you guys? What have you guys done to explore the leak? What are you doing, and will this be resolved? Will the person who leaked it be found and punished? Um, I certainly hope so. Uh, do we have some idea how this could have occurred? Yes, um, but we don't know anything uh, with any type of certainty. So I think commenting further than that wouldn't be fair for me. Paula Boven of the Arizona Republic. You mentioned you talked to biochemists about it, possibly the motivation, and if they were motivated, it could be easily done. Have you had a chance to sort of dwell on that? And did you get preoccupied by trying to figure it all out? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've lived this nightmare every day for the last four months, you know, and, and uh, there's been a million possibilities that have ran through my head. Ultimately, the scariest thing is that it was missing for a prolonged period of time. We have no idea what did happen to it, what could have happened to it, um, and it's a scary thought, without a doubt. Ryan, Adam McCalvey, MLB.com. Can you tell us more detail about when you found out about your successful appeal and how much longer you'll think about legal action and, and how long you think this will follow you? Um, you know, I, I'm not dumb enough to pretend like this is going to go away. I recognize that this is going to be a challenge that, uh, you know, I'll have to face for a while. Um, I found out yesterday. Um, you know, I don't remember the exact time, but, uh, you know, sometime in the middle of the day yesterday. So um, it was recent. Reg, Scott Miller, CBSSports.com. On one hand, obviously you beat the charge, you're vindicated. On the other hand, based on, especially on MLB's strong reaction, how difficult do you think it will be to get your, what was a squeaky clean image and a good name, how difficult will it be to get that all the way back? And can you? Uh, yes. yes, I certainly hope so. Um, I recognize that it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a challenge. Um, you know, at the end of the day, as players, we're held to a standard, again, of 100% perfection regarding this program. Um, everybody else should be held to that same standard. Major League Baseball has agreed with the, the process that's in place, the program that's in place. Um, ultimately, we were able to prove my innocence, um, and I was exonerated. Ryan, uh, Jerry Krasin from ESPN. Uh, you referred to this as a nightmare, I guess. Could you just sort of shed some insight into that for people, what it's like as a public professional athlete to go through this and have people, what it's been like the last couple months? Yeah, you know, I, I have always taken tremendous pride in uh, my image, in my reputation, in, in being a role model and handling myself the right way, um, in doing things the right way. 
and all of that's been called into question um, by this situation. And when you know that you're innocent of something, it's an extremely difficult thing to have to prove that when you're in a, pro when you're in a process where you're 100% guilty until proven innocent. But um, without a doubt, this is the biggest challenge I've ever faced in my life. Um, everywhere I went, you know, people wanted to know what was going on. Everybody was asking questions. Um, and that's not going to go away overnight. I recognize that. But, uh, you know, the goal for me is, like I said earlier, to be able to move on, to be able to be uh, with my teammates and be able to enjoy baseball again. Ryan. Uh, Tim Van Voren, WITI in Milwaukee. Do you feel in this offseason you were, in a way, robbed of your opportunity to enjoy your Most Valuable Player Award? And how much were you possibly robbed of the chance to focus on your baseball workouts to come back for this season? Um, to answer the second part of your question first, I was very motivated by this. You know, there's, there's a lot of haters. There's a lot of people who have doubted me. There's a lot of people that continue to doubt me and will continue to doubt me. So um, this has certainly been added motivation for me. And, and uh, to say that I'm excited to get started would be a significant understatement. Uh, to follow up on Tim's question, Dario Melendez, WISN 12 Sports, um, do you feel robbed of, the, of this, what should have been an NL MVP offseason? And what does it mean to you having your teammates back there supporting you? Yeah, you know, I got an opportunity to speak to my teammates earlier, and, and it's truly meant the world to me. Um, you know, they've been extremely supportive, and, and when you go through a situation like this, you really recognize who your true friends are, who actually support you, and, uh, you know, these guys have been there for me, and, and that truly means the world to me. Um, and one of my biggest regrets about having gone through this whole situation is that I can't ever get that time of my life back. It should have been an amazing time of my life. Uh, my team had an incredible season last year, finished two wins short of the World Series. Um, you know, I had a, a great year individually. Um, I should have been able to enjoy the offseason. I didn't. Hey, Ron. Bob Nightingale, USA Today. Uh, a lot of people of you winning the appeal now say the drug testing program might be flawed. Do you believe it's flawed? And what ways could it be to correct it? You know, Bob, I think I can only answer for myself. And I think the, pro the program in the way that it was applied to me um, was absolutely fatally flawed. Beyond that, I can't speak for the way that it's been applied to anybody else. Uh, I feel like yeah, I've certainly been frustrated by the whole process. I feel like it's, it's been unjust and unfair. Um, beyond that, um, whether there are changes to be made or not, uh, I think remains to be seen. But I think that's a distinct possibility, yes. Ryan Pedro Gomez again with ESPN. Um, you're now going to be here for those first 50 games. There was a lot of thought that you might not be. The loss of Prince, now you're here for those 50. What does that do for the Brewers' chances? Um, hopefully it certainly helps our chances. So I, I, I uh, you know, like I said earlier, I try to remain positive. I truly believe that um, I was going to be exonerated and that I was going to get an opportunity to play all 162 games. Um, but I'd certainly like to think that, uh, you know, having myself in the lineup for those extra 50 games will help our team. Ryan, you said you have, um, Karen Krause from the New York Times again, you said you have an inkling of how it's affected, how this happened. Is it your belief that the collector tampered with your sample since he or she was the only person who knew that that was your sample? You know, again, I, I honestly don't know what happened to that to it for that 44-hour period. There are a lot of different things that could have possibly happened. Uh, there are a lot of things that we've heard about the collection process, um, the collector, and some other people involved in the process that have certainly been concerning to us. Uh, but beyond that, as I've dealt with this situation, I know what it's like to be wrongly accused of something. And for me, to wrongly accuse somebody else of something wouldn't help anybody. Okay, we're going to go with just one or two more here, okay? Ryan, Anthony with Trotto Sporting News. What are your thoughts, and, and does it bother you that MLB came out and said you won only on a technicality, and that this may not clear you in the eyes of some fans, uh, maybe some people even in the game? You know, what's really sad and disappointing to me is that the players have agreed to this system. Major League Baseball has agreed to this system. Everybody else who's a part of this process has agreed to this system. And ultimately, the system decided that I was innocent, and I've been exonerated. Um, and beyond that, you know, their opinion is their, their opinion. And like I said earlier, I, I certainly respect where they're coming from, but respectfully disagree. Lance Allen again. Ryan, did you ever think to yourself, why me? And just with the whole process or whatever, has this changed you with what you've been through? You know, I think everything that we deal with in life changes us in some way. Uh, there's no doubt that having been through this experience has, has made me um, put life in perspective, truly appreciate everything that I have. 
recognize that everything can truly be taken from me at any moment. You know, I, everything I've lived for, uh, every, the way that I've lived my life, the, the morals, virtues, values that I've lived my life by have all been called into question um, by this experience. And it's certainly made me uh, reflect on my life, reflect on everything I have going on, and, and appreciate uh, how fortunate I am to be in this position. Uh, Ryan, you had been in contact with your teammates in various ways over the winter, but today you addressed them face to face. Why did you feel you wanted to do that? How was that? Uh, how emotional was that for you? Um, yeah, no, it was definitely very emotional. I think uh, the support that they've shown me is something I can't ever thank them for enough. Um, as I said earlier, when you go through a situation like this, um, where everything you've ever worked for is called into question. You truly see who your true friends are. You see who actually believes in you. You see who truly supports you. Uh, and every one of these guys have been there for me. So having an opportunity to just thank them for that, um, you know, it was definitely an emotional moment for me. Thanks, Ryan. Any, any following uh, closing comments? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess the simple truth is that I'm innocent. I've maintained my innocence uh, from day one. And ultimately, uh, I was proven to be innocent. And beyond that, you know, I, I truly appreciate um, everybody's support, and thank you guys for being here today. Thanks, everyone.